Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to focus on writing an informative paragraph with three details. And our anchor text is Jellies, the Life of a Jellyfish, from Second Grade Journeys, Lesson 10. For this lesson, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil. Because at the end of the lesson, we're going to challenge ourselves and do some hamburger writing. So what you need to make sure you have is your pencil and piece of paper. If you need to, push pause, get your materials, and when you're ready to join me, push play. When I say hamburger writing, that means we're going to, green means go. We're going to state our topic sentence. I'm going to give you a topic sentence. And then we're going to slow down. And you're going to write your first detail or fact one sentence. Your second detail or fact two sentence. And your third detail or fact three sentence. And once we're done with our three detail sentences, I'm going to remind you to go back using green again, and I'm going to give you your conclusion sentence or your, um, that relates to the topic sentence. So you're going to write using this and by answering this question and this graphic organizer. What did you learn about the text? Well, in other words, what was the main idea and important details? And again, we're going to use the colors green, yellow, and green. Green means go, state your topic. And I'm giving you your topic sentence. I learned that the text is mostly about how jellyfish live. Then we're going to slow down with yellow. And you're going to tell me your first detail sentence. And you're going to write it. Your second detail sentence about jellies. And you're going to write it and your third detail sentence that all support the main idea or topic. And then I'm going to have you um, go back, remind the reader. In conclusion, the author wants us to learn about jellyfish. So I'm giving you the topic sentence and the conclusion. And your goal is to write three supporting detail sentences that support the main idea and conclusion. So here's our learning target. I can say the main topic and write three key details of the text jellies using complete sentences. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at saying the main topic and writing three key details of the text? Well, here are steps to success. And don't worry, we're going to do these steps together one step at a time. Number one, I will say the author's purpose of the passage. Why did the author write the text? Jellies. Number two, I will say what the text is mostly about. Number three, say what the author wants us to learn. Number four, say and write three important details that support the main idea. And those are going to be in complete sentences. And then finally, check my writing using the writing checklist. So jellies, the life of a jellyfish, is nonfiction. Nonfiction books teach us information and facts. Nonfiction is real. It has text features like photographs. Real topics might be holidays, animals, and sports. So, why did the author write the text jellies? Well, it's as easy as P-I-E, or pie. And the author wrote the text to either persuade, and P is for persuade, to convince the reader of a certain point of view, to inform, I, inform, and inform means to teach or give information to the reader, or 
entertain. And E stands for entertain, to hold the attention of the reader through enjoyment. So main idea, the main idea is what a text is mostly about. Look at the title and pictures. Sometimes the main idea is the first and last sentence. Look for clue words repeated over and over. So let's orally retell the main idea and four important details, including the author's purpose and, the, and also the conclusion. So the author wrote the text to either persuade P, inform I, or entertain E. Why did the author write the text? Did the author write the text mostly to persuade the reader that jellies are the best creatures in the sea? Or did the author write the text to inform, give information to the reader about the life of jellies? Or did the author write the text to entertain the reader with a funny story about jellies? So the author wrote the text to inform the reader. You might say that the author also wants to persuade us that jellyfish are beautiful, but it's mostly to give us information about jellies. So it's mostly about the lives of jellyfish or jellies. Here are four details or facts that support the main idea of the passage. So here's the mongrel jellyfish. So first, what do we know about jellies? So first, well first, jellies don't have to decide where to go or what to do because they don't have a brain. So jellies don't have to decide where to go or what to do because they don't have a brain. Second, here's the Rizzostone jellyfish. What else do we know about jellies? Well, jellies can only move up and down, and they protect themselves with millions of tiny cells that sting. So jellies can only move up and down, they protect themselves with millions of tiny cells that sting. Third, what are three things that jellyfish need? Third, well, some people think the jelly's bell-shaped body looks disgusting. Jellies also have a mouth and tentacles. So jellies need to have a bell-shaped body, and a lot of people think they look disgusting, but also jellies need to have a mouth and tentacles. So fourth, what else do we know about jellies? What do we know about them? Well, jellies can be big and small, they can drift, eat, and have babies without a brain or heart. So in conclusion, the author wants us to learn about how how jellyfish live. All right, so now it's the end of our review. It's time to challenge ourselves. You will need that piece of paper and a pencil that I told you to get at the beginning of the lesson. So if you don't have that, push pause, get your materials, and then come back and push play. So now it's time to answer the question, what did you learn about the text, the main idea and details? Well, I'm going to give you your um, topic sentence. I learned the text is mostly about how jellyfish live. You do not need to write this main idea or topic sentence because you're going to focus on the three detail sentences, first, second, and third. 
And then I'm going to give you your conclusion. In conclusion, the author wants us to learn about jellyfish. So, before you write each sentence, make sure you say each sentence out loud before you write it so that you know what you're going to write, even before you write the first word. So here's a writing checklist. When you write, make sure you use finger spaces between your words so that they're not just one long word. You use punctuation or like a period at the end of each of your sentences. You use uppercase letters at the beginning of your sentence, of each of your sentences, or a capital letter for proper names and at the beginning of your sentence. You sound out any unknown words that you don't know al already know how to spell. And then my favorite, reread each of your sentences. So to make sure that they look right and they sound right. So as you're writing, keep these things in mind. So now it is your turn to write and answer the question, what did you learn about the text, the main idea and important details? You do not need to write the main topic sentence. I learned that the text is mostly about how jellyfish live. You're going to focus on the four D, I mean the three detail sentences that support that main idea. So, First, jellies don't. What don't jellies have? So what you'll need to do is say your sentence out loud, finish it. I didn't give you the full sentence. First, jellies don't. What don't they do or don't they have? Finish that sentence. Push pause and write your sentence. So push pause and write your first yellow detail sentence. And when you're finished writing your complete sentence, push play to rejoin the lesson. All right, now that you're done with your first detail sentence, we're gonna move on to second, our second detail. Second, jellies can only, what can jellies only do? So say your sentence and then write it. Second, jellies can only, so push pause, write your second detail sentence. And when you're ready to join us, push play. When you finish writing your second detail sentence, push play. Second, jellies can only, And finally, third, jellies have a, third, jellies have a, what do jellies have? So write your sentence, your third detail sentence. Make sure you push pause, write your sentence, and when you're finished writing your third sentence, push play to rejoin the lesson. So now I'm going to give you your conclusion. In conclusion, the author wants us to learn about jellyfish. All right, it's time to check your work, your three detailed sentences. Remember, our writing checklist said use finger spaces. Did you use finger spaces between each of your words? Next, did you use punctuation? Did you put a period at the end of each of your three sentences? Did you use an uppercase letter for names and at the beginning of each of your three sentences? And did you sound out unknown words that you didn't already know how to spell? And then make sure you reread each of your sentences, make sure they sound correct. So if you need to push pause, add anything you need to from this checklist to your writing. And then when you're ready to join us, push play. All right, at the top of your paper, I want you to reflect 
how well did you hit the target today? Our learning target was I can say the main topic and write key details of the text jellies using complete sentences. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily wrote three important detail sentences. I also use my check writing checklist for all my sentences. Or would you give yourself a three? I was able to write two to three detail sentences. I also use my writing checklist for most of my sentences. Or two, I was able to write one to two detail sentences. I use my writing checklist for some of my sentences. Or one, I was not able to write any detail sentences and did not use my writing checklist. How do you think you did today? Four, three, two, or one? And now it's time to check your writing with my example. If you want to look at my example, what did you learn about the text, the main idea and important details? What was our topic sentence? I learned that, that the text is mostly about how jellyfish live. First, jellies don't, don't have a brain and don't have to decide where to go. Second, jellies can only move up and down. Third, jellies have a bell-shaped body with a mouth and tentacles. In conclusion, the author wants us to learn about jellyfish. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had a good time writing. I know I did. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.